Living in the desert in Southern California is just a delightful thing. And uh, however, it does bring its encounters with wild animals, particularly snakes and spiders and scorpions. And I have to tell you, I'm really, I will not ever get used to this. And uh, it's, a, it's a new experience not growing up around, around these animals. And, and uh, I, as much as I want them to live happily, I just don't want to have too many close encounters with them. But we did have a nice close encounter with a with a snake a uh, couple couple months ago when we were driving, right? Yeah. So we were driving along this uh, this two lane road near our house, and I see something down maybe fifty yards away. It could have been a, a sock or a garment of clothing or whatever, but no. We got a little closer, and I see it's really a snake, and it's pretty big, and it's moving and slowly S shape. I don't know. I, I, I well. It was destined to be squished by somebody. Right. So we, we uh, got out like we usually do for for dogs or mostly for dogs in the road, right? And uh, you assumed your usual posture. I sure with did. Hands out and just having a lot of faith in people that they're going to abide by your wishes. And, and uh, so we got this. I see the snake and he's she. I figured out she's a she. She looked pretty fat and probably pregnant i'm guessing not not really expert on these things and taking her time just going across the road and and uh i was trying to get her to go into the bushes along the edge of the road and she she uh, responded to i would tap her tail a tiny bit she wasn't rattling or anything like that but uh um she did finally go across and and get into the bushes and probably went on to the golf course where 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 we were and I sent the uh, you know while I'm doing this of course you've got to photograph it you know you ha- and you have to video document what you're doing and I sent it off to one of our local actually a world renowned expert in these things and it was indeed a rattlesnake and, and uh, probably pregnant too wow and and uh, looking at these videos I'm a little little it makes me a little worried how close I was with my foot touching uh, <laughs> and so anyway she are, got away are you okay. more worried about that or more worried about your wife being hit by a car trying to stop uh, you know traffic? what i i can do something about the snake okay but, but you're you're gonna do what you're gonna do <laughs> so you've had some encounters I, oh yes boy years ago when i was in tucson arizona for my residency training this was years ago came home late one night yeah upstairs apartment just walked up maybe 11 12 at night I was tired, I was hungry, I was anxious to get inside. At my doorstep was a huge, hairy <laughs> tarantula. Mm-hmm. So of course I let out this blood curdling scream that could have woken up all my neighbors, and it did, a couple of them at least. My neighbor who lives lived in the adjacent apartment complex next to me heard me, ran out, he thought I was being mugged or attacked and ran up the stairs and said, what's wrong, what's wrong? And he sees this, the, the tarantula and said, oh, that's just a little spider, nothing to be scared of. <laughs> Went back into his house, got his tennis racket. Yeah. We're, t- we're tennis buddies, it's yeah. the same racket he plays tennis with. And he um, gently encouraged the tarantula to climb on his little racket and he, he humanely and gently relocated the, the tarantula to a, a little empty desert lot nearby. Mm-hmm. That was it. Yeah. And it's, it's, you can't forget these. You can't episodes, forget these, right? right? Something about the, not only the size, I mean, the, and it's, you know, it got some substance to it. It's not a skinny little legged creature. It's, it's like got some heft to it. And then you imagine but, but things but like hairs. he's going to, right, the hairs. You right. imagine he might jump. I know. And just, a, you know, t- attached to your chest or something or <laughs> your face. I know, these nightmares, <laughs> they just come alive. I know. And then, and then just suck your blood. I mean, you just, <laughs> you just worry yeah. what's going to happen. So, of course, your your imagination just runs away. But, um, yeah, that's it. And it happened in our living room. Remember that episode? Well, that I this past this summer this personally. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, we're just sitting one evening watching television. And, right. And again, you were the first to notice something. Right? Oh, we were just, we were trying to relax. It was like on a Saturday night, we were just trying to relax. And yeah. I had, I saw something on my peripheral vision, some yeah. little thing run by, well, I thought ran by, but it, I thought it was maybe a, a cat or someone playing there. And yeah. I had t- took a double take and there it was, yep. a huge little 
<laughs> yeah. Huge little <laughs> tarantula. Not so, not so little as I, I recall. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Just walking by. In the living room. Walking on the, by. On the, on the right, tile. right, right. Behind the couch. And <laughs> and I screamed. I said, Peter, look. And you, you missed it. Right. You missed it. He'd already walked behind the couch. So you had to actually go. You thought, really? Right. Are you kidding me? And I, we found him. You found him. And <laughs> I was that, worried that we were going to lose him. I know. That was your main thing. That was the main thing. We were, I can't go to bed. And then and knowing he, we didn't catch him in the right, house. Right, right. Crawling so, on my face at night. So I used a piece of athletic equipment also. Oh, yeah? To, what was that? To the lacrosse That's right. Stick. So pulled out the lacrosse stick That's from right. the garage. And uh, you got a nice uh, box or bucket, I think you got. Yeah. And and I, I don't love this either. S- similar... I don't. I don't like getting too close to spiders or snakes. Tell you the truth, and uh, but I was able to encourage this guy to crawl up into the basket, the netting of of this stick, and he didn't seem to mind. And and I placed it in the bucket. He didn't seem to mind crawling into there too. And it's he's moving very slow, but still this notion. Uh, oh, is he going to jump on my neck or something? I know, I know. Like that, you know, at any moment. So. And this is the same lacrosse stick you bought purposely to purposely. play with our little pit mixed Cosmo because he yes. loves the ball, chasing the ball. Yeah, that really works out well, especially if you know how to use one of these things, right? It's a multi-purpose and, and, yeah. function here. Yeah. It's good. So I love that. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so what's the point of this? This point, point of, of this... Uh, well, you don't have to kill these uh, little critters. Right. You can humanely relocate them, That's even if exactly you don't right. feel Thank all you. warm and fuzzy about them. That's exactly right. There you go.